right, guys, the next problem is Monk and Goblet of Fire. And we can all agree that that's the best Harry Potter movie out there. So for all you Potter hits and for everyone else, make sure to watch this entire video. There is a long queue of students from all the four magical schools. There are four schools. Each student has a different roll number. Whenever a new student comes in, he or she will search for his schoolmate or her schoolmate. If they find a schoolmate, they will stand behind that schoolmate. Otherwise, they will stand at the end of the queue. At any moment, little monk will ask the student who is standing in the front of the queue to come and put his name in the goblet of fire and he gets removed from the queue. There are queue operations and there are two types of operations. One is D. D means the first student. He goes out, he vanishes, he disappears. And EXY means a student is coming in, he's part of school X and he bears role number Y. So in order to make this a little more intuitive, let's imagine you're standing in a queue for grocery shopping or maybe you're going to a concert and you've got a bunch of friends with you. They're coming later. So now you're standing in front of the queue and when your friends come, you can have them stand behind you. Nobody will object. Nobody will say anything. However, if you don't have anyone, if none of your friends are present in the front, then you'll silently have to go and you'll have to stand at the back of the queue. You don't have a choice. That's exactly what you're doing here. So if you have a look at your screens right here, the four schools are going to be represented by these four different blocks. Now, a student from school one bearing role number one enters the queue. So it's okay, he goes straight into the front because nobody else is there in the queue. A student from school two bearing role number one goes and stands in the queue. He goes to the end because there's no other student from his school. Now, the moment another student from school one comes in, he gets to stand behind his friend, behind his schoolmate. He gets to cut the queue and stand in the second position. If another student from school one comes in bearing role number three, what does he do? He finds two of his friends. So he goes and he cuts the line and he stands behind them. Now there are two DQ operations. So naturally the two students at the front go out of the queue. So student from school one bearing role number one, he goes out first. And the student from school one bearing role number two goes out second. That's why our output is one, 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 two. Now, in essence, this question is a queue within a queue. It's nothing but queueception. If a student from a school comes in, he can stand behind his friends. If his friends are already present, he can cut the line and he can form a queue behind them. The only time when a student will go at the end is if none of his schoolmates are present or if his school is at the end of the queue. That's why we're going to form two queues. One queue is going to be for each school. And one queue is going to denote which of these queues is at the front, which queues are in the middle, and which schools are in the back. This gives us the priority. Whenever a school in the front becomes empty, the school behind them will go to the front. And if another student from that school comes in, he has to go to the last position. Let's say a student from school one comes in. He naturally goes into queue of zero. And now that school is present in the front of the queue. So inside our school's queue, we're going to say one is present. Now, let's say a second student comes in who's from school two. Similarly, one student from each of the other schools coming. As long as the first array remains populated, the first school will always be at the front. If another student comes in, he gets attached to the end of the first queue. Now, the first queue has two students inside. And unless both of them are dequeued, unless both of them go out, school two will never come to the front. Let's say there are two dequeue operations. Those two students walk out, their roll numbers are printed in the output, and now school two comes to the front. We remove one from the queue. If another student from school one comes in, he has to join the end of the queue. So school one now goes to the end of the school's queue. So in essence, we're looking at the very first number in the school's queue at any given point of time. That number is going to denote which queue we're looking at. The moment that queue becomes empty, that number disappears from the school's queue and the number right after it goes to the head. Let's have a look at the code. We have one queue that's going to hold our schools and another queue that's going to hold the students from each school. We read our input. 
if the input is e e means n queue the student is coming into the queue then we perform a check if that array is empty then that school goes to the end of the school's queue following that we simply make the student stand in the queue if it's a dq operation what do we do first we print school of 0 plus 1 the school which is at the front of the school's queue then we have a look at that queue and we print the very first student standing there we then remove that student from the queue by using a simple delete operation and if every student has walked out of the queue what do we do we remove that entire school from the school journey the only way it will come back is if a new student from that school comes in and then he will be appended to the end of the array let's see if this works Our samples have been passed and submit should work as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and accepted. Every one of the 20 test cases has been accepted. So guys, that's the solution to this problem. I hope you liked it. If you did, make sure to hit the three buttons and make sure to leave your comments down below if you did. It's been Vivek guys, and I hope to see you all next time.